One of the most important things to learn in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl is how to tech. You just got hit with a move and you're lying on the ground, you're trying to input something, but your character isn't doing anything. Why? Well, you missed your tech. Now, what is a tech? Simply, it's when you press block, which is usually the R button, right before you land on the ground after getting hit with a move. If you time it right, your character will not fall on the ground like this, and will instead look like this. There are a couple different kinds of techs. If you hold a direction on your analog stick, you will do what's called a tech roll, and roll in the direction you're holding. However, if no direction is held, you will do what's called a tech in place. Now, what is the better option, doing a tech in place or tech roll? Well, it depends on the situation, but you generally just want to mix it up. If you do the same thing every time, your opponent can pick up on what you're going to do, and you could get punished for it. But generally, teching is almost always preferable to not teching. You're left in a very vulnerable spot after a missed tech, and your opponent can do what's called a jab reset and get a free hit on you. I'll be releasing a video more on that soon if you don't know what that is, but basically you just want to avoid having it done against you, so I would advise trying to tech whenever there is an opportunity. Now, you only have to tech when you are in what's called tumble. After you get hit by a move and your character is sort of just flailing helplessly, that's tumble. And from what I can tell, every move at all percent sends you into tumble, unlike in Smash Bros. You can get out of tumble by jumping or doing an aerial, which avoids the need to tech. But if you aren't set high enough into the air to be out of hit stun, you won't be able to jump or use a move, and your only option will be to tech. So, when you're at lower percents and get hit by a move like down tilt, up tilt, or jab, teching will oftentimes be the only option to avoid a jab lock, so you always want to be prepared to tech. The Sandy Infinite combo, which will probably be patched out soon, starts off with a missed tech on a jab. This also applies off stage, or if you're playing on a stage with ceilings. If you get hit against a stage, you can tech off of it and stick to it rather than getting blasted off of it. This can save a stock. The same applies if you're spiked downwards, but are close enough to the stage to tech off the side. Some moves like Spongebob's and Toph's down smash can be techable if you're in the air when getting hit, letting you live at very high percents. This is something easier said than done. I mean, just hitting the R button, how hard can that be? Well, with how fast of a game it is, oftentimes it's more difficult than you think, especially when you get sent onto a platform you weren't expecting to land on. My best advice would be to just play some practice games against a CPU where you are just focused on not missing your techs, and eventually it'll become second nature and part of your autopilot. If you find you aren't reacting fast enough to getting hit, I would say keep your eyes on your opponent and not watch your own character. It might feel weird at first, but watching your opponent can really help improve reacting to getting hit. I also find it a lot easier to pick up on my opponent's habits when I'm watching them instead of me. If you have any questions about any of the terms I use, let me know and I'll try my best to help you out. Subscribe for more All-Star Brawl tutorials and Smash Bros stuff. I'll be putting out a lot more of these type of videos in the next few weeks. Thank you to my supporters on Patreon. Thank you for watching. Peace.